Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today we are doing a little bit of a preliminary um, watch because tomorrow, if everything goes well with release dates not being pushed back anymore, uh, Candyman is supposed to come out. Now Candyman, from what I understand for tomorrow's movie, is a sequel, sort of. It's a soft reboot from the first one, but does not include the other Candyman sequels from this original. So I'm only watching the first one, and then I'm gonna watch the new one tomorrow, which are both called Candyman, um, because it's a soft reboot. So they're like, they're acknowledging that the first one existed uh, and is canon to this universe, but it is, the other ones are supposedly not. So that is how I am judging this, the tomorrow's movie, based on this movie. It's it's complicated, it's, it's lots of complicated. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about Candyman. Candyman was released in 1992 and was written and directed by Bernard Rose. No spoilers, of course, as we don't do spoilers on this channel, so definitely subscribe if you don't like spoilers. Um, but this movie essentially is about this thing called the Candyman, which is an old folklore where this guy comes and kills people if you say his name five times in a mirror. Just based on the trailer for the next one, for the for the 2021 version, it seems like it's going to have more than that for its backstory, but in this movie, it is only that. There's nothing about like Halloween candy or anything like that. It's just that. And there's bees everywhere. Like He is a hive of bees, but it doesn't really show that very well until the end of the film, which I found kind of interesting, but it looks like this next film is going to be a lot cooler in terms of it being a hive of bees. I'm very excited to see how that works out. A little bit of backstory for me, um, I have seen this movie once before, but I was not at all really paying attention during it because it was like five years ago and I didn't care, I just put it on the background. Which brings me to the point of, this movie is not good if you just put it on the background. It is not fun, it is not good. I didn't like it, I was not looking forward to watching it again for the channel, but then I actually kind of got hooked into it and it's, it's a pretty good movie. It has a lot of deeper like themes and deeper meanings than I had originally thought it was going to have. Like, even just like the first 20 minutes where we get to know the characters, you know the characters are fun. Like I, I, I like Helen and the Candyman of course are just two very interesting characters. We have Virginia Madsen who plays Helen and Tony Todd who plays Candyman. They're great, Helen's a cool character. She's just a reporter for in college and trying to like learn about Candyman and Candyman's, you know, Candyman. So it's cool to like kind of see that through that which is how I like to talk about movies now, especially after watching the first season of The Sopranos, where the reason that they had the movie, the show that it worked, the reason it worked was because they had the therapist, which is a way to show the, 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 the show. This here, the reason that we are able to watch the movie is because there's an actual person trying to investigate it, and it feels more like documentary-ish. It's pretty cool. I actually kind of like the way that they filmed and the way that they decided to go about it, because there's a few ways they could have made a Candyman movie, and this is definitely one of them, and it works quite well. I'm actually very impressed with how they were able to do that without going too overboard and making it seem kind of cheesy. So, like, good, good for you on that. The characters are cool. The story is fine. I do think it, it does drag a lot, particularly after the first like 20 minutes. It gets really long until we actually get to see Candyman and we actually get into some of the heavier parts of the film. The end of the film is a little weird. I think that it was a little bit too open. Like it, it's a close ending, you know what happens, but like also it just kind of feels lazy maybe. Maybe lazy is the word. It just kind of, it just kind of ends. And like there was a cool twist kind of, but like for the most part, it was like, eh, and the very ending, the very, very ending, like the actual end was very cool. So like, I appreciate that, but it almost felt like we had two separate endings and I didn't really think we needed two separate ones. I think we could have just ended there and then not had the, the little other thing that the, I can't talk about it because of spoilers, but the ending's cool, but I don't know as if we needed to have all of it there, um, which is fine. It's again, it's not bad. It's just, just a little interesting, I think. But what makes this film is the characters, which is what you like to hear from a horror movie, um, or I guess it's more of a thriller film. Um, but like, Candyman's cool. Tony Todd as Candyman is, is absolutely horrifying, really cool. His voice is amazing. Uh, and I am interested to see what this next one brings to the table in terms of developing the character and all that stuff. The arcs for the characters are really cool. Candyman's arc is kind of like, eh, could use a little bit more work. I think they are gonna develop on that in the next movie. Um, 
but overall it's just kind of fine it's like it's a good movie i would definitely consider watching it just watch it like watch it watch it don't just like put it on in the background because you won't get this one there, there are other films like jeepers creepers which you can put on the background and it'll be fine uh, but this one i think you do need to pay attention to for sure in order to really get the whole film but overall, definitely, definitely worth a watch. If you haven't seen it, check it out, especially before you go see the next one, which comes out tomorrow. I have not seen it, so maybe you don't need to see this first one. I don't know, but I watched it just in case. But I'm gonna go ahead and give 1992's Candyman a B plus. Have you seen Candyman? Let me know in the comments below if you have seen it. Um, or If you haven't seen it, like, are you interested in watching? Are you going to go see the next one even though you haven't seen the first one? Let me know in the comments below. I like to hear all of those. I like to read those and I always reply. So definitely comment down below. Uh, coming up tomorrow, of course, we do have Candyman. There are other movies coming out as well, but Candyman is the big one. Um, I'm very excited to watch it. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss that when it comes out tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated and I'll see you guys in the next video.